Hmm. All right. Take Robert here. Um, if you've been following my previous videos, you'll see that I've been building this configuration for my latest camera setup. It's hard to get it fully in frame. There, that's better. Um, and I got the camera, uh, small rig configuration, light for it, microphone. And then the next thing that I was looking for was um, was to find a, um, a flexible tripod to be able to support that, and that's starting to be rather heavy. So um, what I settled on is this one. This is the Gorilla Pod. It um, can take up to five kilograms. And. Uh, it's uh, relatively expensive, so it's not something that I immediately decided to buy. But it should be the best in its class, as far as I've been um, searching on the internet and stuff. So let's let's dig into it. See what, it, um, what we can find. connector at the top. It's got a ball connector here. And you can freeze the ball on screwing up this one. And then you can stop the rotation by screwing in that one. And boy oh, those are strong bendable legs. Yikes. That is that takes power to change the into a tripod then just to see if it holds the basics. Hey. Wow. That is scary stiff. Test purposes. I think I have to move back to the main view. Exactly isn't enough. So if we take this one. to put this on the camera and then what you do to do that is you can unscrew that and then take the plate out. So I'll get that fiddled onto the camera. Okay, you to reposition the camera completely to, to get it in a good way. I hear you say that's real. No, let's see if we can put the whole camera assembly on top of this thing. I hope it doesn't crash to the floor. Oops. 
Whoa! <laughs> that was not so good. What did I do wrong? Uh, that was my fault. Didn't I tighten it down? Oh, I, I did something wrong. I'll take it easy first. Ow, that hurt. I don't think I hurt the cat. So if I put it there. Not very smart. Yikes. The complex a bit more forward. Wow, that's dirty. Even with this huge amount of stuff on top of it. No, that's not bad. And then you can um let's not let's not unscrew the wrong but wrong. So if you unscrew the small one here then you can actually get it to rotate. I haven't positioned it very, very well. It's not level. Mm. I'd like to have it level. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit more level. I say I have to have strong hands to uh, to get this uh, adjusted. That's for sure. No, it just means that the legs won't be moving out from underneath it very easily. Yes. <laughs> no, with a bit of practice and. Um, and then of course you can use this stand to like tie it to things upside down and do or tie it around a, a, a branch or like wrap it around things and then it will not move. That's pretty much guaranteed. Okay, that was that one. Oh, I think that's going to actually serve well. It's, it's really stiff legs and um, very good adjustment. And, and sorry for the slip of the camera, that was just my own stupidity. <laughs> it does have, you have to screw it, you have to tighten it into place, otherwise it slips out. But I don't think I did any damage to it. Okay, but anyway, hey! If you um, like this video, remember to um, subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified. And then if you think anybody else will be interested in, in, the, in um, this, then um, please share. Okay, see you in the next one.